ask Tom on home show. Robert from Tanglewood has a stairway calamity. Oh my, he sure did. The other day, a very large technician was coming down his little pull down attic staircase when yes. this happened. <laughs> he says, Robert, Robert writes into us, he says, the steps exploded under his weight as he came to the yes. bottom section, and the tread and the side of the stairs are now kindling wood. Is it possible to find a replacement for the bottom section that I can bolt into the upper section? Or do I have to buy the whole thing over again? You're going to have to buy the whole thing new. You're not going to find parts and pieces to put this together. And I would not recommend you trying to make something because it's very dangerous. And if you make something and somebody gets hurt, well, you can imagine what might be happening. So the fact of the matter is buying a new one, the sizes are usually pretty uh, standard. And you just need to know your height, if it's an 8-foot ceiling, 9-foot ceiling, or 10-foot ceiling. And take a look at the new aluminum ones. They're lightweight. They, they uh, have a better latching system, so they're more efficient. And they close nicely. And they handle the weight of today's human beings like the other ones really didn't. And if you consider, what if you had a plumber who had to put a water heater up there too, or carry some air conditioning equipment that would even add to the weight? A lot of those staircases or stairways or the drop stairs, they do not handle the weight that a lot of people are carrying under their belt right now. I don't know how else to say it, but bodies are getting bigger, and that was not meant to handle people over 250 pounds, yet some of these guys are over 250. And you put a, a, a tool belt on them, and you put all this stuff, it adds another 20, 30, 40 pounds, and you're really stretching the limit. But don't try to yeah. fix it. Uh, it's going to be a new one. And here's my last tip since you live in the Houston area. I've had this done at my mother's house, and guess who replaced it? Rudy's Quality Painting. It's a two-man job. One person's got to go at the top. The other one has to be at the bottom because to secure it properly, you have to close the whole thing up, and then a guy up in top, he has to put the screws and stuff in, and then you can let him out. Because if you don't let him out, you're going to have another some a problem. So, so the guy upstairs has a lot of faith in the guy downstairs. You have to trust. trust <laughs> there's, there's, trust, there's trust in this work. Yeah. In fact, yes. we had a similar thing happen in our house. Um, mm -hmm. And it actually happened when we were installing some equipment in the attic. And what happens, they're pushing it up. And the guy pushed on it. And you could just hear the thing groan. And it, it, the, the hinge literally bent on it. Yes. And so we're having to replace it. That happened to my mother's, too. Yes. Yeah. Uh, you'll have sometimes this is really bad when the when the section falls apart so that's really dangerous but also the springs and the hinges they start to do weird things like it happened with yours too Charlie and uh, that's why you want to go to some of the new heavier weight ones take a look at the specifications and then get someone to install it for you there's no way around it you want some help just like that? You got a question? Tom, I'll help you. Go ahead and click on Ask Tom on our website. It'll take you to this page where you can enter your question and send pictures and videos and anything you think will help us um, happy to look at it because tom posts a new one every day at homeshowradio.com and then we put it on the facebook page and uh, the youtube channel where there's hundreds of videos in there it's an archaeological dig of home improvement knowledge that's available to you anytime your heart desires